Oh, it's like we're at the beach, listening oh. to a midi. Polyphonic <laughs> ringtone. Like yeah. 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 Put your get, get your thirty-two bit speaker system out, will you? Okay. How many bits do you think were in an eighty-two ten? An eighty-two ten. Eight bit? No. How does well, it work? Sixteen bit. What's a polyphonic? Eighty-two ten. What does polyphonic mean? mean thirty-two ten. Thirty ten. Polyphonic means there's multiple notes that can be played at the same time. Mm-hmm. Ah. Rather, rather than, than mono, mono, yeah, which, which is just one note at a time. Because then it would always, always just stop so you, you from have playing layers. a note. Yeah. You have chords. But then how many bit was it? It's got to be like 32 or 16. No, I mean, it couldn't have been that many because think about how, what consoles sound-wise could generate. No. I won't think of it. I don't give don't a know. shit. Right, okay, well... Anyway, what is your name? <laughs> I'm Chris Trot. I'm and Chris I'm Trot. part of the Hatchet Podcast. And who are you? I'm Ross Zombie. I'm part of the Hit Chit Podcast. And I'm um, Alex Smith. And I don't know anything about pre-2010 mobile phone sound generation. Mm. Yeah. I I've reckon really 16 bit. It spent any time. 16 bit, I think, is a good guess. Because that's like Mega Drive is 16 bit. Or could it be 8? Because aren't there 8 notes in an octave? No. 8. Yeah. That's not how bits work, though. No. No. There's not just like one bit of metal that they vibrate for each note, like a xylophone. It's not like a little piano in there, no. <laughs> that's how I imagine it. So I imagine it like. Imagine just getting. If I had to design a speaker for a phone right now, I'd get eight very tiny bits of metal, each with a different resonance that produces those different notes. Seems really inefficient. Yeah. Especially when the speakers are so small and like easy oh, to actually yeah. make, make. Yeah, them, I'd somehow make it small. Phone. You'd also need a little chunky device phone. in there. Can't make stuff small is easy. Part. Why is this phone so chunky? It must be the battery. <laughs> no, no, I've actually the got a real phone in there. Inside there. It's like a toddler's like music learning toy on the back. Like, wow, this is this is big. This is big. Things if you like drop it as well, like that's. T- tiny little delicate oh no phone. the thing that's been like I, I Tony Starked in my bedroom I think I've lost the note E yeah it's not ringing anymore <laughs> uh, it's not going anymore must be stuck to the I don't know what do I mount it on epoxy there you go oh cool <laughs> epoxy uh, it. people will take the piss out of how I say epoxy, epoxy. Well, how should you say it well Is it people say word? epoxy yeah because it's one word what epoxy I say, well, not that. Come on, Ross, don't be ridiculous. I'm going to use epoxy today. But I mean, you don't say a sports, you do you? You say esports, right? A yeah, sports, a little dash, isn't it? Because it's a contraction about it. Trying to, yeah, yeah, that as well. But I'm trying to make a straw man here, Ross. You know, oh. helping. Help with this straw. Um, Carry this straw. Give me the straw so I can snap it on your back. That'll be the straw that broke the, the cam- Smithy's back. Right, okay, that's good. That's Yeah, that's nice. You know how they say straws ain't it? I sometimes think the same <coughs> about electric hobs. You know, paper straws ain't it. Sorry, there was a... Crash. Wait, electric hobs? Yeah, I feel like there's a train of thought in there that didn't... Right. Yeah, he was talking about straws. Right. Talking about straws. And then I was like, paper straws ain't it. I came away from cooking last night after making something with a fucking... Well, you don't cook hob. with paper straws. No, we use electric hobs. And I feel like they are like kind of like, this ain't it. Because you know how it's meant to be not gas? Because gas apparently now fills your home with CO2. No. See, well, it's, it's just that in CO. flats, you, it's not recommended because you can blow up other people's flats if you're reckless. That's true. Is that the reason? Fires. That as I think well, it's a fire well, safety that, hazard. Yeah, absolutely, but also because, uh, A, it's difficult to plumb gas. No, it's not actually that difficult to plumb gas through a building, but also like the, the actual emissions of a gas stove within a closed well, environment. That's what you got in it. Yeah, you get I feel fine. <laughs> he feels fine. His eyes have changed colour slightly from cooking to electric, electric hobs are annoying. They are. Wait, are you induction? Induction electric no. is better. <clears throat> is it? That's better than just electric hob. Yeah. Yeah. It, it heats up faster. Yeah. Uh, it's not quite gas levels, but it's it's almost there. Mm-hmm. It's less likely to poison you, which is nice. It's so slow to heat up and cool down again. Like for me, my electric hob, one and six is like, you're barely cooking today. And seven and nine is like, you need to spend, const- you constantly need to watch this. Otherwise it's going to burn the bottom of a pan. Like it's that's... Just- that's it. Yeah. I just don't, I can't cook in under that much pressure. You know, it really stresses me out. But, that um, was really dull. But that's some adult talk. Mm. It's some more adult talk. <clears throat> it is adult talk. To be fair, like if you have history adult chat. using hobs, this is for maybe you. we should have because we're still thinking about you know the new format of hat chat. What is the new format of hat chat? We didn't discuss that with our board members. Oh yeah, living. We did. I reckon we should have like an adult gripe section yeah. <laughs> where we take like a really inane thing and just random. Actually, no, that's we just try that. We think we also yeah, it's just <laughs> that's just we, we just do that anyway. It just happens organically. What? Well, going back to how long could you spend in a dishwasher? Like with it, like uh, absurd you, scenarios. You've climbed into a dishwasher. The door's closed. You've right? taken the trays out. You've taken the trays out. Probably. You're like, can you fit in you, a dishwasher? Do you reckon? No. 
If you had to bet, yes, you de- you would definitely. I reckon we can get you in a dishwasher. I reckon I, I, I would, would not be comfortable. My and the fact that he's the fact that he's challenging. It's not going to be comfortable. It's a dishwasher. I'm not, not challenging at all. I feel like he's challenging. I'm literally saying huh? I don't. I can't. What no, we I guess there's a challenge. What's he's saying what? he can't, but I think we can get him in there. So there's a thousand pounds on the line, or five grand, ten grand on the line. I mean, you'd get in this. You'd get in a dishwasher for a thousand pounds, wouldn't you? Yeah. Apparently, a child died doing this. Cash in hand, huh? There's a, a child died. Yeah, but that's because children are stupid. Yeah. Um, they wouldn't feel, have the scuba gear that we would have. They wouldn't have all the. We gear. would have all the gear. We'd be like laughing. I'd be backpacked. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, have been backpacked, and that was safe. Okay, so no scuba di- gear. <coughs> stupid gear. Um, you're in your. I don't know. You're not going to turn it on, right? Oh, we're turning it on. It's hot. This is my hypothetical chart. Let me get it out. Okay. A thousand pounds. You have to get into us uh, into this dishwasher in a wetsuit. And it has to be switched on. How long before you bang on the door and get asked to let out? Like, and we each have to bet like the amount of time. Like, you know, I I reckon I could stay in for full cycle five minutes. You would do the full cycle. So There's a point where how long it's just is your like full cycle. It's the same. How long is your full cycle? Ninety minutes. Uh, it depends on the if I put express on. Or Four not. hours. You can put them on for a long time. You can put them on for a long time. Please don't put on ninety degrees. Why? Mm. It's ninety degrees. That'll melt all my paper plates I use. <laughs> and the, well, well, the fact that you're washing them is <laughs> admirable <laughs> in a dishwasher but the thing is there's that we, a also point. there's a mystery to a dishwasher right you it's don't not. know whether at some point during that cycle the entire thing is filled with foam it's not right it doesn't fill with foam it's so imagine you're in there and it's filling with foam how terrifying so we should never be? do never put it fairy liquid fill with, in there yeah no, no, it, will, yeah. it will blow so that's go happened. over and like fill your kitchen yeah, yeah. don't put fairy liquid in it won't foam I don't think that's that's mm. not how it works. Bad news. I've smuggled a small capsule of fairy liquid in your back pocket. And as you sat down, oh, no. it's gone off. It's one of those tabs. True. What? That's a nightmare situation for me. Like It's dark. You can't see shit. You're locked in a dishwasher. And you got water coming from all angles. so much foam now. Every time there's you not breathe, fo- I don't there know is your get... situation because I smuggled oh, the, the foam pack in. Yeah, that would be dangerous. You start breathing soap bubbles. I, I'd hate that. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're smuggling in stuff to compromise my dishwasher All scenario, all sorts of stuff. Glass, there's glass in there. I don't, I don't think I'd do it. It'd be pretty funny, yeah. If you just go go around his house for some other reason, you just open a dishwasher, just squirt a little fairy liquid, close in. <laughs> it's an innocent crime. That's, yeah, it's, it's a hell of a troll. Victimless. It's a victimless crime. <laughs> totally it and also, they, like, it can't be like tracked back to you. Like, they would never guess that you would do that in some other. Oh my god. Well, you would if you like <laughs> caught them on an episode of Hat Chat talking about doing that yeah. i'm wondering if people will do that now or if they've already done it or getting a tin of paint and putting it in the microwave for an hour an hour what would that do eventually it's an gonna hour. go everywhere it's a tin as well metal oh because of the compression of the can it's probably going to go bang well because the tin's it's metal like, it's yeah. closed it's got paint in it and you've put it on for an hour <laughs> which of these it won't take an hour go it okay it explodes it? no exactly yeah. that's but you don't know quite how long because it might push the button and walk away yeah and then, you know, do your other stuff, like home Microwave sabotage. Guy. Did you put on lunch? No. Yeah, no. Are you making soup? What's, What's that, that smell? <laughs> so people get confused at fairy liquid in the chat. They just don't know what that is. Washing it's up, washing washing up, up liquid. liquid. So, yeah. Dish- yeah, that's a, good point. a brand. Sorry, yeah, it's just ingrained in it. It's, it's like when you say Hoover, it's popular. like, no, it's a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate it when I do that to myself. I do it so often. Oh, I know it's not Hoover. It's a vacuum cleaner. Or it's a Dyson in modern times. It's fairy blood harvested by the English. Fairy liquid, isn't it? Um, it's distilled fairy... I'd like to think that. It's crushed fairies. But, I mean, imagine trails. if that. Fairies are real, and the thing that their blood does is just make plates clean. That would suck, wouldn't it? Like, it'll, be know, a, like, it'll be a normal reality, a though. Like, blood, uh, bones can be turned into glue. Well, yeah, it's a little bit like that, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Pritt sticks. And they have the nerve to call it gorilla glue when it's coming school. from horses. Is it always coming from horses? No, I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. I just thought that'd be funny. Anyway, let's move on to uh, the voted on thing yeah. for today, the hypothetical, before we totally shift our format. I know I'm making it sound like we're totally shifting our format. I but mean, we haven't not really, changed. we have it's no changed. ideas on how to change our format yet. We're thinking we about it. Thought about it. Uh, if you have any spending, ideas. We haven't spent any time. None. Let None yeah. whatsoever. I, this was, it was an idea whilst we were doing the hatch. Hat I don't right. think until the camera comes on. And even then it's furious. It's, 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 it's all yeah. over the place. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, the, the votes today weren't just from our Patreons. They're from all support all across the platforms because 
if you're interested, you can come join us on our Discord, discord.gg slash hatfilms. And if you are a member on YouTube, or if you're a Twitch subscriber, or if you're a Patreon, um, and you link those accounts to your Discord, you'll gain access to the Scrubscriber channels where you get all the announcements for all the extra bonus videos and stuff that go up. Thank you very much to Cobalt for keeping that maintained. Thank you. It's very nice. Thank you. And also, um, I put announcements in there if we're doing any extra, extra stuff um, for you guys specifically. Looking um, for a new cabin boy. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Cabin boy. We're looking for a new cabin boy. No, we're not. That's what kind of thing we might put out on the Discord. Oh, right, yeah. That's what I'm saying. At everyone, looking for a new cabin boy. <laughs> Our one's all used up. Looking for a paying customer. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll put announcements there because that, that reaches everybody mm. all at once, which is quite nice. So I, I'd like to use that where possible. And therefore, today I did the poll, not just on Patreon. I did it in that Discord as well. And, uh, Are you pleased with the results? No. No, yeah. I'm, yeah. They're, they came out the same. Ah, so okay. they're all the same hive mind it turns out so number one is, is perfectly the conditioned yeah yeah that was, number two was so bad that they it? weren't the best this week I will say no was well, it about getting trapped in various home appliances oh no your feet have fallen into the toaster yeah what do you do oh no the toaster dropped that. into the bath and it's plugged in what do you do oh die you just smile die. you smile <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank you, fate. Uh, but yeah, what is our most voted on as per all our members? The first one is that's been voted on by all our members and Patreons. Thank you very much for being those things. Get it in there. real close there, aren't they? They are a little bit close. Look how fine. close they are. Oh, you guys look like you're inside a dishwasher or something. You've got an obsession. Okay, you're in prison for three years. Oh, God. What do you do? What did I do? What did I do? What do you do? What did That's I do? That's where that stops. I think we could do both. Why have I been in, in prison for three years? What gets you three years in the UK? Oh, you could make a really good joke if you knew more about current crime crime mm. stuff. You probably you know, have to do quite like, a lot. Actually, no. Uh, hmm. Dep I'm pretty sure... It depends if you're an MP. Hit and run? No, there's a woman who um, recently... I'm right? pretty sure she got into an argument with somebody on a bike told her to get off the bike and then pushed her and then she the other woman fell into the road and died holy shit but she got like a manslaughter charge and that's three years I think yeah boom that's what there I we did go. So we got that's what I did it might be a bit I mean you inadvertently killed someone by getting angry yeah they were like, oh. you argued with someone on the pavement and then now you're in prison for three years and someone died I'm guessing you don't you can't do that much time for like speeding she screamed at her okay you just lose your license right yeah. At what point do you go to jail <clears throat> if you keep doing it? Uh, losing your license? Yeah. It depends, yeah. Basically, if you do it, or if you're doing a particularly high speed, like if you're doing like, you know, a certain amount in a certain... 70 area. through a 20 school zone. Yeah, I Oof. think you might get jail time for that. I don't think you could, Maybe you not, probably though. probably wouldn't get three years. You might get a few months and then like some sort of suspended sentence. Okay. I'm banned from driving for a long time. I don't really time. know, yeah. Indecent exposure. Indecent exposure, it depends, doesn't it? Ooh. It's all contextual. So what was the actual question? What do now. you do? You have to survive three years in prison. Oh, God. I often think about this. A bit like Tom Wom scams from um, Succession. Mm -hmm. You guys, I know you've seen it at least. It's it's funny. He's he's like a really like, I'm going to prison. He's like looking through brochures and stuff. He's like a really rich character. It's hilarious. He's going through brochures of all the prisons in America to try and work <laughs> out which one you can try and go and to. America's it's a so unique one, isn't it? Terrible. You, you almost can choose. Like, what's, what's the best private company I, for me? I mean, can you choose? Do you have a say? <laughs> well, if you, I think the implication is in, in 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 this situation is that he's super rich, so like yeah, yeah. he's going to have some say. Not normally, no. Normally, you'll get Roughly, sent to yeah, whatever yeah. prison's yeah. probably got space or is closest to where you got tried or whatever, you know. Um, but like, it's um, it's not a good story in England, really. Um, one of our nearest prisons for serious crimes and three years is probably serious enough for that is Exeter Prison which is a Victorian prison um, and Outdated. it's um, one of yeah it's, it's terrible it's a really, not, not really, since the Victorian era and they haven't changed it like it's just chains on the walls all the guards still wear beefy costumes <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting in a way if you're it's into it's hard like, to change it whilst you've got all those I mean I guess they'd have to build another one well this is it and, and move like, them yeah and, and uh, we have more prisoners than we know what to do with. I think most countries mm. do. Most most 
well not apparently it's the opposite in america you get sent further as far away oh, as possible really? from the crime god that's place. bad then i guess it's just i mean it makes sense right or something yeah like if you want a killing spree sense, in yeah. like orlando right you don't want to go to jail in orlando no. well they don't want you near i guess yeah in case you break out and do some more damage well i don't think it's that but I wouldn't guess that reason. Peace of mind for everyone in Orlando, I guess. Yeah, but also, like, you know, you might meet people who are in your gang right there, or you oh, might... Um, you already have connections. You might... The people might... Other prisoners might know your story, and if you did something really bad that they don't like, they'll probably try and kill you, you know? I guess, Sick. like, that sort of stuff. Did the camera just turn off? No, nah, it's just the monster, you know, doing a little crunch now and again. Oh, um, it's okay. Fine. Just heat. <laughs> so for three years I would I would work out like crazy before I went in before? Um, yeah how much time do you think you've got before you go in often you have months before you go in okay through um, the trial you, get big, you knew you're you gonna get big and and strong first I'd try so you could fight yeah um did I, you learn I, some fighting moves oh, no I don't think would you, would you try and speak to people who've already been in prison to see if you can get a, a yeah. scope of what yeah, you Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you go on the prison forums. Again, like, what well, Tom was. I've been on the prison forums again. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Honestly, I, the succession is so fucking good. But yeah, uh, he's like, I've been on the prison forums and the stuff they're talking about is not good, man. And, There's uh, a hierarchy, isn't there, in most prisons where it's like based on the crime you commit yeah, is yeah. how you're treated. Yeah. in prison like if you did a heinous act yeah like involving underage children or something like that apparently you are on the the firing line for gonna get the yep. just brush. getting fucked I'm up absolutely up. i mean i think whittling would you get into whittling there's absolutely there's a really good there's a really good podcast um there's about only a few episodes what's well, it's on youtube as well which is confusing but uh, there was a guy who was an armed robber in the uk and he's really eloquent and um he's he's about our age i think i only think he's probably a little bit older than us um, and he talks about how he grew up in the south of England as well and how he went into prison a few different times, all the different prisons he's been in, um, what the conditions are like. Really, really interesting. I, I, I was listening to it a lot and then I got into one of these things where I sort of hyper-focused on it and started having dreams about being in prison and I had to stop. So you've had a lot like, of thought about this. So what would you do? Spend a lot of time. You work you out really a lot. have a plan, clearly. It's somewhat out of your hands. No, no, it's more... It's, is it? It's more is just it really? like... It seems like it. I think that's As the point. It's weird. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Where to go? You're in prison. Yeah, it's yeah. out of your hands. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Um, um, but would you start a fight first? Is it like? Is it kind of like? No. 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 I, I, it, I would try and like keep that? myself to myself. I think it really Head depends. Down. Head down. Yeah. Is it like Orange is the New Black, or is it not? There, right? there are some people in there who are like actually nuts, right? There are some people in there who've grown up in environments where like just the rules of interactions are totally different you know like like we would not be very compatible with those people and like this is why you don't want to go to prison if you're if you're you know not almost already institutionalized because it's just going to be terrible for you you're not going to succeed you're not going to do well you you might like you know keep your nose clean but in order to keep your nose clean in there yeah. you know as in get out be a good prisoner all that sort of She's shit suggesting bring some kleenex you're going to need to keep your nose clean physically using kleenex <laughs> balsam only because otherwise you're going to get a red nose and everyone's going to call you rudolph yeah and you don't want that you don't want a nickname uh, no you not don't in prison. no you don't but like it's difficult, you know, because you might just get targeted by somebody. Trot's definitely going to get targeted by somebody. Um, Why? What do you mean? I don't know. It's just so his how? ass how? is just very alluring. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, a shared shower scenario. <laughs> uh oh. Who's this snack that's walked into HMR prison <laughs> Exeter? Um, He's easily overwhelmable. Yeah. I don't know, man. Read a lot of books. Probably try and run a D&D &D because they love that shit. I think that'd be best tools there would be to try and you become need a long-term valuable. project right to yeah. not make you go insane we also need to be valuable and respected amongst your peers who otherwise would you try and befriend would you try and people figure who, out their crimes first or just somebody who looks i think you do more? yeah how much would yeah. you fudge the roles for like the crazy people at yeah the table? all the time constantly so, oh yeah you didn't miss 100 <laughs> don't stab me <laughs> you use the whole structure as a way to manipulate and influence prisoners into not stabbing you because mm. like i'm pretty stabbable as well you know like I can understand what if somebody wants mean? to stick a whittled down toothbrush what so far into stat? my butt cheek that I choke, you know? What, huh? what, what defines pretty I don't stabbable? Know, tro I just feel like the kind of people that go to prison would probably really enjoy messing with me. You reckon? I think so. I don't know Do why. I feel sorry for Secondary me? school. <laughs> no, I get secondary school, I guess, is the reason I think that. Because it's just like, I know what people are like. You yeah. Know? Like I, secondary school. 
I can picture it being a similar scenario to secondary school with just a lot of ego. But with more violence, you know? Like, imagine all the naughty kids in your school, you now have on to detention with somehow you. hang out with them without just causing issues. And you're stuck there for three years. Yeah. Did you ever watch Prison Break? No. Is it good? So this, is, this is the problem, right? I think most of our like idea of prison on comes knowledge. from American shows. Yeah, it does, yeah. I mean, I've not really watched many documentaries on prisons. I know that Louis Theroux's done a couple, but he yep. does American ones as well. Um, so I, I wouldn't know what to expect. Would it be like just a shitty school? No, it'd be much worse. But like, of course, as in just like, but as in like the environment. Well, yeah, you don't have much agency. You probably have to share a room with is somebody. It's not done in programs. the same. Is it, is it in the cell blocks? Yeah. Or is it just done in like no it's blocks of rooms. blocks of cells? Yeah, usually because again in England we've got a lot of old prisons that were designed based on that system. So like for example the one in Exeter, which this guy talks about a lot in his podcast, there are wings, and each of those wings house people typically that have different crimes. So there's wings, and I think Louis Theroux visited one where you have like mainly sex offenders. Well, that was uh, a, that was a, yes a place for pedophiles that's it right, right. it's on the Isle of Wight that's the name of the oh, no this was a different one this was that's one in like the US that's like the main one that's Isle Pedo Wight. HQ is it is that, that's Pedo Paradise that's why they send the worst of the worst <laughs> yeah there's three prisons on the Isle of Wight that wasn't as a prison as a kind of like a rehabilitation centre but they never leave so it was like you are in prison but yeah. they're not treated like violently or like in a way that's like as bad as other prisons well the problem Do is they other, separate other, anyone you, by age no was it kind of just everyone's in there yeah um I don't, I don't think so like i think with the sexual predators and stuff they have to tend to try to keep them apart because a lot of the time but normal prisoners, people I mean. will yeah normal prisoners gen pop i suppose you'd call yeah. it it's a typical term in the us i don't think they call it that in the uk but yeah like the general population of prisoners yeah you'd mix together you'd be mixing with people it's it's different because obviously like culturally Diff different criminal cultures and different just regular cultures exist within different countries. So in the US, depending on where you are in the US, the culture within that prison is going to be totally different, right? Mm -hmm. So like, it depends on the kind of gangs and the kind of trades and things going on in that world, you know? Um, in the UK, I imagine we are quite different just simply because... There's still gangs and stuff. Absolutely. I mean, like, you know, there are also, we have a lot of imported European gangs and things like that, like Albanians <laughs> run a lot of the drug trade in the UK. Like, that's that's just the reality. There is a lot of people who come into the UK to join gangs and they've made a big business out of it. Um, I'm trying to make a big dent on that, though. Are you? Who, yeah. You're trying to outdo the Albanians? No, I'm working my way up, yeah. Mm. Right. Okay. What? Like inside their gang or your own trying gang? Trying to take their share. I, wow. I, it's dangerous, Trot. You might get gunned down. I don't want you getting gunned I down. I just see him Google human trafficking. <laughs> what? Just how to? You didn't know what it was. You thought it was queuing. Oh. So it's not. Yeah, it's queuing traffic yeah. lights. No, it's not like that. Yeah. Oh, that's, not okay. the, that's not what that is. Yeah. But I mean, but like, like, I mean Pedo HQ sounds like maybe an easier ride almost, doesn't it? Like, Well, obviously, the, isn't there. Well, people try to go. And claim insanity in terms of like they get their lawyer to do that depending on how, what the crime is obviously yeah because obviously you're not going to be treated in the same way but you then, still like, have to go to like a you hospital still have to prison. go to it yeah so i'm not sure i don't know yeah but this just says you're in prison for three years what do you do i guess you just fucking suck it up i mean you will you go to prison for the full three years that's the other thing because also if you're just on good, good behavior or something like standing just, citizen yeah. but this is a problem right so you can and again i'll, I'll send you guys this podcast afterwards because it's really really interesting um but like, just look look up if you if you're interested, uh, people listening right now. Um, like, Diary of an Armed Robber or something like that. I think it's called. Um, and it's a UK guy. Sounds a bit, you know, like. So he was southern. an armed robber. Yeah, uh, amongst oh. other amongst other things. And um, he went. He's been to several different prisons. Um, but yeah, he's a very interesting person. Um, but yeah, it's it's. It's not fun. And I also think that you're going to end up, even if you're trying to be the three, do the three years and like, you know, be a good prisoner, you know, and do, do whatever you have to do to try and get out as early as possible. If that means, you know, not defending yourself, because obviously if you get into a fight, that's not going to look good upon you. If you, if you yeah, have to do, like if somebody comes up to you and, and tries you, you know, like sees how much of a bitch you want to be, you know, and you do nothing about it, because you're so worried about appearing um, as like a good guy, you could become a three year punching bag. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so, like, I think there is that. And and also, like, say you know that, and you're like, if I don't do something now, if I don't, if I don't stop this person doing this thing, 
I'm going to be sexually assaulted for the next three years. You kind of just go like, I'm going to stop this guy doing this thing. And then that might turn into you being in prison for five years rather than three because yeah. you had to st st just defend yourself at that moment. Like that, This is what's so complicated and so terrifying. You really, yeah, a lack yeah. of agency in many ways, not just in the obvious ones. Um, don't go to prison. Well, well, you can't. You don't always, have a choice in this hypothetical. You might just get trapped yeah. or you might get framed. Well, yeah, the old white worse. collar crime, yeah. they call it, right? Well, not necessarily, but you might get framed for something or like maybe you'll get fingered I by someone. <laughs> As in, like you point out, you know, in a oh lineup. right. <laughs> what if you got fingered because, and then they framed you for cottaging? <laughs> what? So like you uh, were no. fingered, oh. and you were fingered for fingering. Well, you were what you were being fingered for? It would like just be a, like you just get a chuckle place. out of it. In a public place, you were being fingered. Well, not a you went toilet. to prison. Prison, prison. For a fingering. <laughs> you received a fingering. That's unfair, isn't it? That is unfair. It is. Because what was the what was the joke on um, Horrible Bosses that Charlie Day's character, yeah, or Charlie Kelly, uh, is wait, Charlie I'm Day's his real name, Charlie Day, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Um, his character was on the sex offenders register because he pissed in a play park at like at night when no one was in there, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and got caught with his pants down. It's like oh fuck, and it's like that counts as a yeah, and there's only one nice register, so it's it. like what, well, yeah. yeah, which is kind of crazy, really. I don't know if they categorize that no 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 yeah that you, you say oh on a sex offenders register you're yeah, like, yeah what the fuck what did you yeah. do it's like i pissed in a play park late at night and no one was in there yeah but boom it you're can happen list. i think it's unlikely I'm i don't know yeah i don't know how like how how bad that is and how you know well there's a the thing and this is often actually quite good to address you say you're on the register there's misconceptions about like the worst like charging people right like as in i think people think if you commit a crime you will receive this like criminal lab like declaration and prison sentence right it's very subjective and and like you know they the judge or the magistrate depending on who's being who's charging uh who's trying you in the uk at least can decide on a sentence so if it is a situation like that where they know that, that person wasn't oh, yeah. willing trying to expose himself they can be like i'm not going to put you on the sex offenders register right so i know that's for more comedic effect it's really funny of course yeah. it's, but a, I, I, it's I, a joke it's a film yeah so. there's a lot of leeway in charging <clears throat> and, and, and how in real life. what people it's get kind of scary for. at the same time though because it like could literally be that the judge yeah. feels shit that day and yeah. you get a worse sentence that's, for that's the, yeah that's the problem as well you see a lot of horrible stories about american judges and how mm. but their biases kind of yeah kick in and obviously, yeah, you know, certain groups get fucked over. I'm glad we're not in America. Although I'm also yeah, I am less glad that I'm in the UK. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go to shit real fast. Let's um, go to Norway. But I don't think I'd survive long. I wouldn't enjoy prison. But maybe I would. Maybe it would be a calming time to read all those things. This is quite nice. i got a lot of free time. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. But the frustration of just like your life being on pause yeah that sucks would be, that would, would play be on your mind a lot so you're keeping yeah. busy and being like actually because yeah. like, obviously like you know it's not always going to be gang fights and fucking shit no, it's just no. a lot of boredom but like mm -hmm. it would just be like yeah you've got to kind of like kind of can you get almost can you meditate the and kind of, no? not allowed to. I don't know what what are you allowed in, like, I think do they have the some internet? people do have they consoles they don't have the internet I don't think or rather I don't think you can access online services but yeah. you I think I mean, TVs have been allowed for a very long time. I wouldn't be surprised if con like consoles were allowed to. Huh. <laughs> You'd be, be fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. I'll, oh, be right. I'll be fine then. I don't have to go into like the communal area, right? I'll just stay in I my cell know. and I don't know what the, play uh, games. I don't know what's allowed. Like, Trot would thing. thrive in prison is what we're saying. Here. Yeah, it was a great time. He would thrive. But I feel like, yeah, it would just drive you crazy. It probably would. Because I think whenever you watch prison, like people going to prison in films and stuff, you always think, fuck, that looks... Shit. looks rough mm -hmm. which it is maybe we should go visit the prison but then there's the prisons in was it Denmark or Norway or Norway Sweden I can't remember which one um, uh, it's Norway so more like rehabilitation which were like yeah. kind of like they don't like they're not locked in any rooms or anything or like no. was a, they have access to like fields and meadows and shit they didn't really it's the idea about turning a person back into a useful member of society rehabilitation yeah. rather, rather than, than punishment, punishment yeah. which is it's, it's sometimes it's a difficult what pill because just... like, what if you you know killed your whole family yeah what if you're Anders Brevik I, I yeah. think that it's a tough pill to swallow because human beings like justice they like vengeance as well well also they um, like safety yeah? the whole point of being put away is that you're safer well you, your community is safer because that person's not going to do the same crazy that's number shit one right yeah. yeah lock um, them away 
and obviously yeah in some cases it's it's yeah punishment for you know a financial crime or whatever just because mm-hmm. it's they've done something wrong and they need to be punished so because that other they people don't do will it do it well because other people and to do a certain it. example yeah it, it ruins systems ultimately like a lot of white collar crimes like that where that's why fraud carries such a heavy sentence in the uk and in most countries yeah. because like it's like oh it's just a bit of digital money being moved around but it's like yeah but if everyone did it none of this would fucking work mm. um but yeah, no, I, I, yeah, you're right. Removing dangerous people from society is very important, um, and I think that is something that is is really major. And, and, and a lot of a lot of criminals, dangerous criminals, especially in the UK, you do want off the streets because they're fucking terrifying. You know, like yeah. like like they and do also, not. If you, if you have nothing to lose, you would just do. You could probably do anything. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, well, fuck it. I'll just go back to prison. I don't care. But then yeah. the, 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 flip, the flip side of this argument, and I'm sure there are prisons in Scandinavia and Norway, if we're talking about Norway specifically, that are like high security Harsh prisons for dangerous yeah. people. Like, I don't imagine it's all like oh, center yeah. parks. Oh yeah, it's all going to be different um, sentences. Um, yeah, what they did. But, center parks. <laughs> center parks. Yeah. Compared but, to like, a Norwegian. But I, I, I do largely <laughs> agree. <laughs> See the like say say like I do largely agree with with this idea that like well what what are you trying to do here? Like you want to turn these people back into useful members of society because a lot of of the time people are fucked up because of their lives not because they are fucked up people but because their experience of life is so fucked up they became fucked up right and yes they do t- terrible things and yes these terrible p- things you know if a family member of mine was killed by one of these people that have had a fucked up life i would still find it very hard not to want you know vengeance ultimately but at the same time if you can be selfless enough to be saying well let's you know let's turn this person into an actual useful member of society or like you know we're all only here for 80 years or whatever we're all here for a blink of, of cosmic eye why don't we try and, for some who aren't immortal yeah um why don't we try and make them useful like why don't we try and make them a little unit in the progress of one day making a better place you do know they not, like do they have jobs and stuff they have jobs in prisons don't they yeah, are they yeah. Just, just prison jobs? Are they jobs that actually can be contribute to other a lot places? of the time? It's going to be like maintaining the you know cleaning and the kitchen and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. But like yeah, there are full I mean, on there's exports as well. There are yeah yeah there are full on jobs like but they pay like bugger oh, all. Yeah, yeah, you know they're yeah. basically slavery. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But like uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a tough one, but I think it's admirable what they're trying to do. But it's hard. To, there's no easy answer to incarceration, is there? I guess it depends on like is punishment the answer. Is that enough to steer mm. that person from yeah. doing it again because it was so shit mm. to be in prison? Or is it like fundamentally changing their core like traits to stop them doing crimes? And can you even equip effective? a person with enough things, tools within that rehabilitation to actually make them? Because like yeah. you can teach them how to do all these jobs, but if they've never understood how to be like a functional human being, or they've never under- they've never had the experience of like a functioning family unit or whatever, how can you? How can you that? possibly furnish a person with all the things it takes a lifetime to create? Harold Shipman go. Harold Shipman, he was helping us out. He was decreasing house prices. <laughs> Uh, I can't say fairer than that. I mean, he killed loads of elderly women. He reduced the house he prices. Was, he used the, the trust and mm. the, the guys being a In years to come, young people will build a statue to that man in that local <laughs> area because they'll say, "Thank, I could afford a house because all of these bloody 90-year-olds <sighs> sitting on... Were squatting. <laughs> were squatting in these houses. On old money. Yeah. Um, no, I'm joking, I'm of course. Like but, yeah. I, you know, I've got to say something funny and inflammatory and not yeah. just... Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of famous serial killers that come to mind. What? What? Which ones? But it doesn't really matter. Like, it was, wasn't it? Um, was it? Well, I don't know what he did actually. Bronson? Was it? Yeah. Was it, he was come up for parole recently, and they said that they did. They were worried how he would be in the world today. Yeah. or Some shit. He'd never used a cash machine. Right. Yeah. He'd never oh, used really? an ATM before. And what was he in for? Oh Christ! So I know that he kept doing shit in prison, which extended his sentence. Yeah. Continuously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he became famous or whatever. And there was a film with yep. Tim Tom Hardy. Yeah. Um, where he was the same character he's always Bronson was only an armed robber oh right okay so he did robbery um, <laughs> he did robbery violent and then prisoner okay apparently he was a bit violent as well so basically he's just mm. been, been extended his his sentence by just being a violent prisoner yeah making so it his, worse his crimes himself. are just happening in prison mm. yeah fuck Jeez. well like I say and he was probably in an environment where he was having I say having to if you had somebody you know pour hot water on your face you know fill up a kettle Jugging. with sugar and yeah sugar and hot water and try to dump it on you there's a jug out there that says 
For jugging only. For jugging only. There's a little picture of someone. A little, Seriously. Literally. <laughs> it's on the fucking table. There's a there's a jug, which currently has like flowers in. Yeah. And it says for jugging only. And there's a little triangle and then a little stick man with a jug pouring <laughs> on another stick man. Yeah. And if you're familiar with what jugging is, it's dark. It's just, it's very. Trying to permanently scold someone <coughs> yeah. that's what they do to sex offenders in prisons as well that's the thing right. like when they come through it's like sport for all of the other prisoners for like hey we can all hate on this guy with no repercussions because I imagine the, like even the guards look away possibly yeah exactly and so you know they'll pour shit on them they'll throw shit on them. they'll do all sorts of stuff they'll piss on them as like they walk stockades. through modern stockades yeah 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 it is actually it's quite a good analogy yeah it's um not cool not fun I feel like they should scare the shit out of people in school with that. And that way, maybe we'll stop some people who, even if they have those urges, doing it. Because they're like, I bet they fucking ate their life in prison. Um, you know, like, it's just like, you know, nobody sympathizes with you. Um, and you've got some of the most fucked up people in our society just having a go. <laughs> it's like, Christ. What was it the other day? I saw on Reddit about someone who shot... The person who killed their kid, basically. In yeah. Court. Oh yeah. 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 And then yeah. they got like what three years, like, but it's reduced to half. Or yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. That the woman. There's a picture. Yeah. There was a woman who yeah, shot yeah. like the guy who killed her kid. So yeah. it's like, you know, because I think there's been a couple of those cases where like mm -hmm. someone's been yep. shot from by the parent or you know someone who's been close yeah. to the the victim. And I think that's why like they get reduced sentences and stuff. But obviously, it's just like fuck. Like you know, you can't it's do an that. emotional situation. But yeah, I guess yeah, you can't just go around. Again, vigilant. If executing. everyone did that, then we would live in a wild west ultimately. But you can sympathize. So, but, you yeah. sympathize with them. You really do. That's Being it, yeah. driven to do to do that because You're you like, can understand you it. A fucking kid. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you might have got. That's why in this hypothetical you might have gone to prison for three years, is because you did something. You did You're some vigilante. Vengeance. Yeah. yeah. You vengeance. So did. do you think that's going to be respected in the prison? I think so. I think. I think. I from yeah, what I killed, from, I killed a million pedophiles. From what I've heard. No way. <laughs> yeah. High when? five. You treat like a yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Everyone hands you rolls they out don't the red carpet. Me. I'm a, I'm Roll out the red carpet. <laughs> yeah. He's here. Oh yeah. my god. The king has arrived. <laughs> and, that, and that's what's happened. Like this, this guy again talks about it in his podcast. He's saying about like how like your crime does tend to like put you into a certain group or like you know if, if you're a guy that's like done physical crimes you know like armed robbery for example it's kind of like a crime against an institution you're shown to be confident and like you know like almost organized whilst if you're a guy that's like you know hit somebody because you were drunk in a car and you're in prison you're not going to have that same res people aren't going to respect you in the same way mm. um and so so if you're going to do jail time i do yeah, I, I think respect. If it, I think if you, you know you got to remember these people are also people. Like you do have psychos in prisons, definitely. You know, and and also psychos in the criminal world. Again, like talking to my police the friends. Crimes of passion. Crimes of passion, of crimes course. Of, you know, rage. Yeah, and, and blood boiling rage. Like all the TikToks I saw of like um, the wife killing their husband, stabbing them uh, seventy times, and then the call the it's all way. footage of just like they it. just did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah put me away. Mm. He deserves to die. You stabbed him 70 times. Mm. And they were just so calm about it. It's like, yeah, they drove me to this over like decades of abuse or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. And it's hard, isn't it? Because like, I feel like I'm very against the capital punishment and like, you know, people die getting executed. Like, there's a, I'm very much against it. You want hangings back, do you? Huh? Hangings? No, I don't. No, I don't want it back. What's your favorite one? However, I feel very much like, go get it. Um, when I hear about things like that, where I'm just like, yeah, fuck them up. You know, like, I don't know why that is. It's just feels like, I don't know. Well, think about it in every film you watch, like when someone yeah. does some shit and you see them die, you're like, yes. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Justice. Yeah. Like you say. Yeah, that person yeah. did something horrible and you saw what they did and then they got that back in return and like mm. that's your, that's the arc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, someone said what, uh, like, we should watch, or everyone should watch American History X, which is a really good film. Yeah, yeah. And Fuck. also kind of, uh, kind of an illustration of kind of like also... I guess learning more about it's almost learning about other cultures just because you're forced into a situation where you have to right yeah. and obviously then your mentality changes and your life I changes it's a hard watch though it is a fucking hard watch have you seen it I've, I know about certain scenes in it's it it's great I don't think it's even that it's hard well to watch done. to be honest it's just obviously well there's some brutal scenes in it it's fucking obviously yeah there's murder and you know it's not as bad as like Requiem for a Dream though and things like that like really? I, I think well, like but it's done in a, it's, Requiem for a Dream is like kind of a trippy kind of Yeah, thing. exactly. Whereas this is like obviously a 
<clears throat> real very and racially visceral. aggravated yeah. crimes and or, yeah about yeah. neo Nazis and stuff yeah fuck and obviously then changing that path and mentality through actually communicating with these people you hate and actually learning oh they're people too I'd rather like absorb my consequences and actions and morale through superhero movies oh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> That look. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a joke, but it's yeah. like quite true as well. Not like, I'm not saying that everyone's just like brainwashed by Marvel or not, but that is kind of almost like what we're suggested to think like, right? Like that's like the prevailing thing. It's like, be more like Captain America. And you're like, well, there, there is some I can't be, it's impossible it, to for be sure. like Captain America. Yeah, but they're all trying to save people. Yeah. Right? Which is a good thing. But I feel so disempowered every single day. I'm not like Captain right. America. Oh, no, of course. But like, that's like <laughs> as a narrative of just their actions, it's like they're doing what you would just perceive as a good thing. Yeah. Um, obviously, but, but, when but, you see, but, when you see them fuck also, up cities and stuff, you're like, well, yeah. they're actually ruining the fucking city yeah. at the same time. Yeah. I mean, they did address that, in which, fair enough, they, in one of the they Avengers, did, they were like, we need to make an accord because you guys are oh, just yeah, they keep going off on the one. Yeah. yeah. Ruining everything, which I thought <laughs> was cool. That was before it's, it got real bad. That wow. was, yeah, uh, the bit where, yeah, I agree. That was about the moment where consequences, <laughs> yeah, and the one where Iron Man had like way too much Gwyneth Paltrow in it. That film, oh, the third one, too much goop, yeah, yeah. God, the Iron Man films, suits. yeah. It's just, it's just got like the Iron Man films got. They were old, I suppose. They were a long time ago oh, now. Yeah, I, like, I, like, so. I like one, two, and three. Well, the yeah. third one, they could have just pressed the anything goes button. Yeah. Now I've got like 300 of these fucking things. I think even the richest person in the world probably couldn't actually do that. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. Just, but then uh, it's fantasy. What the fuck? Me? I've yeah. got a production line. It's of... not a documentary. Yeah. It's not? No. Oh, but it fuck. certainly made the value of Iron Man less when you see all the fucking different types of suits. Yeah. Like, that's obviously from yeah. the comic book, but like, yeah. it makes you kind of appreciate it less when you think, that, oh, the first one, he built this kind of really shitty one in, in a cave, which is still really good, obviously. Yeah. Then he has got this one master suit or whatever. And it's like, that's cool. Like, but then you just printed them like they're nothing. Now these are the nano things. It just makes you just, I just. Yeah, I didn't like the. the but that's just the realism <laughs> element of me just going, this is just, now this is just silly. Yeah. But, and, and but like, like, yeah, it's, it's not, they're, fun, they're fun films. Like, like I get that, it's, you know. Everybody's got a nano disappearing yeah. face Because it's mask. just quicker and easier for them oh, to do that yeah, rather I than have that. to like, yeah. all right, let's put the gear Everyone's on, then put the plates tech. on. Yeah. It's easier to film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, we'll figure out what the cost, the production team, the VFX team, we haven't, we haven't finalized the suit yet. So if you could just CG one on the bodies, that would be great. Why isn't Tony just a nanite mancer at this point? You know, like a. Because he's, he's dead. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. He died. <laughs> That's where he was going. I want to see him come back as like a Necron-style reanimated, like, tech priest kind of character. <laughs> that would be amazing. Where he's got all of his stark nanites. He's like, I don't even need them to form into suits anymore. They're just these... I am a nanite. Yeah, these huge, <laughs> like, swirling nanite balls You've read too much form 40K. into anything. I think I might have done. <laughs> I think I might have got too far down the 40k route nowadays. Well, you we went pretty hard on that hypothetical. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. To the point where this is a prison-based yeah. hypothetical. But whilst yeah. in prison, episode. I tried to yeah, exercise a lot. Yeah. But someone read. suggested you could use your mouth trumpet as like a performative currency. Like a jester. You'll do a, you'll do a song for like Be trade. a jester for the guys. <laughs> The okay, guys, here he's coming. Oh, Ross, do some capering and some tumbling. Yeah. Okay, guys, here he is. Please don't hurt me or do bad things to me. <laughs> and they just kick you playfully in the ass and stuff. Ooh, is that ooh. good enough for you, sir? Please. Yeah, you could haggle for better and better yeah. things. Just starting with that. You'd be mouth a pathetic trumpet. clown. A Try. jester hat made of toilet roll cores piled <laughs> up on top of each other. <laughs> Fuck. And then butt just flat, be just, a jester. Just butt flap down at any point. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, but, but please no, please no, please no. no. Please don't. But no, 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 no. don't do that. That's but, not. I don't no. want that. No, no, no. Please no. No, no I'll do the, the trumpet same. if you just don't. <laughs> Come on, and you just hear me trumpeting every night. <laughs> just, just, just a somber, just, sad just tune. <laughs> <laughs> just desperately trying to. He keeps getting more time <laughs> in prison. Hey, shut up, man! <laughs> I'm shaving my ass literally here, bro. <laughs> Enjoy the song. Any I've requests? Been, play Blue Moon. Oh, fuck. I've been hired I for an all nighter. <laughs> My wow. lips are so sore from all the mouth trumpeting and sucking dick. But mainly the <laughs> mouth trumpeting. My lips are. 
<laughs> Doesn't get me out of everything. <laughs> you blow, I've blown out my lips, man. They're all tattered and messy. The amount of guys that want me to provide some sexy porno backing trumpet while I get yeah. railed in the shower. <laughs> the things I've seen, man. Someone stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to stab that guy, I'll do a little cheeky beatbox to it. <laughs> Just please don't stab me. I'm capering. I'm tumbling. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you've got to. I don't know if that would be just more find humiliating to, if anything, more irritating. So the, you've got it's a balance. It's a dangerous balancing act. There is a fine. Not everyone's going to like it. Yeah, not, some people might love the jester thing. <laughs> some some might of the deranged not. guys in there, maybe. But, but you got to get so good at it that, like, as they try and like angle a kick and stuff at you, you yeah. caper away. Yeah, you're like, become you're, a tumbler. You're, you're that annoying, become an acrobatic tumbler. Is what you're suggesting. Annoying, classic trope of like the jester. You need to find your prison, Henry the Eighth. So he can like throw scraps to you. Yeah. And you're like, thank you, thank you, sir. thank you. Oh yes, another piece of toast. Thank yeah. you. What do they call it? Motley? Is it the 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 the, well, the, the pattern? Outfit. Yeah, oh, the, je the a jester's um, mot motley or something yeah. like that. But you can make your own out of prison yeah. stuff. You could quilt your own. And like then rappers, yeah. sweet rappers. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon stand-up would work in there? You can try, try and do a modern stand-up routine rather than just Maybe. Go straight to Unless King Henry like... VIII style guest of performance <laughs> you be in careful. a Capering. modern prison. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> what, what some, like, this guy's nuts, don't go near him. You've got to try and make some relative, yeah, some yeah. relatable jokes. But not to too on the of, edge yeah. where like the guy gets offended yeah, and yeah. you get stamped. You start doing the chicken. And yeah. they're like, oh, no, 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 don't, he, do, don't do, do that. Action. Don't, do, don't that. do a mum joke. Do not do the little He's a scouser coke kingpin. <laughs> Shit. Do not do the, the shit joke. Right. Fuck. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. Plenty to think about when uh, we eventually go to prison for three years. Shit. Okay. Because we're going to do some serious hard time, I think. Oh, fuck. I know. He's got your, but your way out of it somehow. You've got the podcast sorted. You charm your you way out of the, Just speak to the judge. You wine and dine them. Come on, mate. Also, oh. like, you know, Trot's got brown eyes. He's definitely going. Statistically. <laughs> Why? Statistically, Trot, you're I'm going. To go, you're yeah. going. And I'm they, like, just send him. They see the vulnerability him. in my eyes. Yeah, and they're like, you know, he's, he was expecting it. He was born into this world, you know. Uh, I, he was expecting this. Not me. I can't go to prison. Don't Come on, he's a mud Don't eye. do that. He's a bloody mud eyes. Oh, Look oh, at him. Oh, Paul, I've, li <laughs> just, I've literally just started um, reading, uh, what's it called? Um, Stormlight. Stormlight Mother. Archive again. This is like the whole, in this series, this fantasy series, it's very good. They have light it's Brandon eyes. Brandon Sanderson. It is Brandon Sanderson. They oh, have light Brandy eyes Dandy. and dark eyes. And that's like how their society is kind of separated, which is where the whole, you know, like mud eye comes from, which was years ago. Um, and obviously, Trot can't change the color of his eyes. So no, you can't. Not so without context. It's almost cruel to mention it. You I reckon we could If he comes in with blue context, you know it's affected him too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the mud eyes thing I really went too far. I the shit out of this shit. guy. I wore blue far. contacts once. Yeah? How did that as feel? It's like the Mad Max costume. Oh, that yeah. That must have looked fucking crazy. I can't, I that was pretty crazy. I had a bowl cap as well. Oh, I looked yeah. fucking insane. I mean, it looked crazy in the general. Ball, yeah, I was going to say, the whole look was, yeah. What was his name? Nicholas Holt as... Yeah. Was it Spider or something? Or Spike? I can't remember his fucking name. Spike? No, I don't know. No. I forgot the name. Knox. Uh... Knots. Yeah, Knox, that's it, I think. I mean, I do live in fear of one day my luck Nuts. running out. I think that is it as well, you know. The what running? Like, my luck running out. Like, as in one day I'm like that guy, that classic trope of like... You're that. just going to end up hitting a kid in a car. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, but I got one that stops me from doing things sure. now. Sure. What if... It stopped me from hitting a few things already. Nice. Well, what if Tesla's <laughs> also pipes just bugs out? Yeah, it bugs out. Is... The steering wheel comes off like they've reported recently. I know. I, I, I think you've just come that off. a lot now. Oh, I, I give it a good oh. tug. Oh, my what? God, it does. <laughs> Fuckers, shiny and chrome. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I do feel like yeah, one day it's just gonna be like, oh, come on, mate, Isn't dude, don't do that. Is it a Mercedes? I think that they've now said. I think it was a recent article where they said that they've trained it to rather run over a pedestrian and save the driver's life. Right, the trolley problem. They've decided <laughs> they've, they've to they've go for the in. trolley. Yeah, yeah, they've the gone for the trolley. The oh, trolley is, is surviving with, a, this with one. Mercedes cars. You'll be safe, but pedestrians are not safe. They couldn't just fuck with the crumple zone a bit more. They couldn't just try, try and make it safer as make the whole car like, out no, of drive, jelly. Find pedestrians. Make the it's whole... fine. It's trying to find. We need to slow this car bam, down. Bam. It's not just going on the pavement. It's still going oh, until no. it hits one and then it stops. It's the three red rings of death. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> I can't control. My hand's free. I can't do anything now. I'm sorry. He's yelling out the yeah. window. Move out of the oh, way. Run, run. It's going to kill you. It's, it's trying crazy. to slow down with your body. The murder pet mode. I think that we should just build all cars out of ballistic gel from now on. <laughs> so it's all gelatin. <laughs> What does that mean? Ballistic Bounce gel. Yeah, Have yeah. you seen the stuff that they shoot? And What's like, the benefit? 
That way, if we hit anyone, they just sort of get absorbed into the gel and <laughs> pull them out again. Boom, it just bounces people away so they break their neck when they land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a Did you ever trampoline. see- They're ragdolling away. Have you ever seen a jelly mold? Yes. You know, like- uh, Yeah. Uh, right. Have you, have you, I don't know. I, how, when was the last time you ate jelly? I haven't eaten jelly in years. I can still though. It's though. just like it, you know yeah. what it's like. Right. Good. I was okay, I, it, touching a wobbling. I was going to say a rabbit shell. jelly mold. Have you ever seen one of those rabbit jelly molds? That no. looks like a rabbit. Yeah, it's just so. a jelly mold, but it looks like a like a yeah. live rabbit. Sure. Just imagine a car jelly mold. You just pick it up. There you go. That's the car I'm imagining. Yeah. And then you climb inside, the door's like, whoa, yeah, yeah. whoa, You've got to just what, see through like five inches of jelly. <laughs> yeah, what's the That's why you're hitting everyone all the time. Okay, yeah. it's, it's, or you just have cameras on the outside and it's a screen on the or inside. what you could do Until is... that fucker like somehow disconnects. You're like, oh shit, it's a blue screen, what the fuck? Uh-oh, oh, my God. jelly's now, how's my jelly driving? No idea. It could, could just be wheels. washing up liquid that you form into a bubble seal yeah. of the windscreen. Yeah, and full, full out, circle. Man. We've come back to the fairy liquid. Um, sure. Yeah. But I don't think that's a particularly strong windscreen. It's not a particularly strong car. It's made out of jelly. Well, wow. I don't thick jelly, though. What's holding it all together? There's a chassis. I wonder how big a piece of jelly we could make. Is it just a regular car covered in jelly? No, it's the whole thing is made from ballistic gel. What kind of aerodynamics does that kind of thing have? Not good. So it's just a... Well, it's a, blob. Imagine, a VW you, bug. imagine a blob. Imagine you're a VW driving bug around. made of slabs of translucent gel. Yeah. Well, Everything like is that. The working components. Don't worry about it. <laughs> is it uh, the wheels? Wouldn't the intention be that it the would wheels? absorb the things it hit? Yeah. So like, okay, maybe not the So whole then you get car. stuck in. Oh, fuck, yeah, exactly. you hit me, you prick. And then, and then you get out of your car. You get out of your car. <laughs> Just blunk. <laughs> get off <laughs> my <laughs> fucking <laughs> car. Now I've got to top up my gel. Yeah, now I've got to reshape the gel, you prick. I've got to go to a body shop. Yeah. But it's that's Stop the running thing. into people. You it's so much easier. <laughs> it's just like a spray, like latex. Yeah, but do you they think that more people- on the gel. Do you think more people would hit people because they know that? People just stop. Be people safer, people would be less, they'd yeah. be more reckless because it's like, well. They'd be less you know, uh, anxious. Don't really, really do anything. So yeah. going to bounce in and stay in the vehicle. Oh, we, but we save lives, Ross. You're yeah. saying that's inconvenient. Well, I'm just, I'm wondering if people, more people would try to hit people. I'd like to see a road full of ballistic gel cars. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah. Just for the novelty. Everything. Axle, wheels, all the moving parts are all made of gel. I'll let the engineers work out how to construct yeah. an engine of gel. And also if they get shot at. That's jail. Who's Spoken shooting at? it? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's true. Americans. Americans do get shy a lot. They do. <laughs> and people just fire all over the place. Constantly. In that. Just I seems like, like a. If I had never gone to America before, I feel like that's how I'd imagine it. Just now. Walking, they just, like an active that, war oh, zone. That's a bullet. Oh, well, that's normal. <laughs> No. That's normal. That's just be. I, I. I'm just happy yeah. that like you know the bullets that somebody has shot up in celebration haven't fallen down on me yet. Yeah. You know? That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, That's yeah. why they're all so religious. No. I'd be. I'd be okay with it because it's you know it's their right. So. Yeah. So it's fine. <laughs> it's right. Let's not go too deep into that. No. Um, do you want to go to the next um, one here? This uh, one says. Well, it's 52 minutes. It's oh shit! We've really been doing. Yeah, okay. It's, wow. It's been a hardcore shit. prison episode. Maybe we should. Yeah. Just lock ourselves away. Nothing wrong with prison. a single topic episode. There isn't. There isn't. There's nothing wrong with it. As long um, as conversation flows. Oh, and did it flow like ballistic gel? Oh, yes. Ballistic gel doesn't flow. That's yeah. That's the kind joke. Of stays, yeah. That's the joke. Quite static. It flows like fairy liquid. Not even. All right. But I think well, yeah. Now we're, I'm hoping that people who listen to this will go around their friends' houses and just squirt a tiny bit. Just fairy just liquid troll. or washing yeah. dishwashing. So. Buy a Kinder egg. Fill one of the little capsules inside. Sorry. Germans, no Americans. You don't have this. Pierce it with holes because it's not just going to open. Or do you got melt from the the heat? Ooh. Ooh. What's the best way to trap a or shove a like rig? a washing machine tab in a dishwasher? Mm. See what the fuck. Happens oh, that there. would that would. But do there it. are some interesting videos on YouTube, which I went down the rabbit hole a couple of years ago, of internal viewing. I have seen the same thing. Why did you? We I guess we got recommended it. Yeah, Schrodinger's. You can see inside dishwasher the dishwasher for me. It's, it just like shows you the process, which is kind of interesting. It's quite boring. You, normally, it's just a box. You it's know. just like rinse, 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 rinse. Yeah, rinse. but it's long. It's amazing but how it clean it gets. It does things. a good job. Yeah, yeah. And uses it's less water. Nuts. Well, yeah, because it recycles it back through. So. Uh Well, it does. What it does. Yeah, anyway, it's really dull. Do you think you could cook anything in a dishwasher? No soup. Soup. Sous vide. You guys never had dishwasher soup? You can sous vide the <laughs> meats. Yeah, you can sous vide some food in there. Like, what what temperature did you go to? 90. You could do that because, no, not 90. It do needs they? to be submerged, which I don't yeah, think. Yeah, for it a would period be. of time. It's like you're just being squitted. It's getting splashed. I just. 
got like one of those school grade staple guns and pieces of bacon and just staple them to the inside <laughs> of my dishwasher. It will get it. It will get it. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> You've just put a load of holes in it, but yeah. yeah. Let's anyway. just say I'd rather use the bacon I go crab fishing with than what happened to that. Mm. You, know, you want to pull it up and the crabs were able to go at it. And you're like, oh, they fucking love bacon. They love bacon. Maybe we should go crabbing in Bristol. Are there you, crabs you, here? There's got to be crabs here. Why don't we just go, is there crabs? That's the name of the video. And so we'll crabs in Bristol? Area, bit, we're just looking parts for crabs. Of the river and just dip it in. <laughs> no, there are not crabs here. Next place. <laughs> no, there are not crabs funny. here. Have we found any crabs? No. Been here for five hours. I reckon you'll find some in the harbour, maybe? I don't know. It's not, yeah, it's, not it's of water. quite far from the sea. That's the problem. They wouldn't yeah. be big crabs either, would they? No, 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 no. Be little annoying ones. I've never seen anyone crabbing. I've seen people fishing. No, no. That's the thing. But maybe that could be, maybe we just go town to town, like up, up the coast Any slowly crabs? and start crabbing. Try and get local rumors from local Is it fishermen. Crab? Are there crabs here? Excuse me. Are there crab? Do you know if there's any crabs? Are crab? All right, well. Well, we'll find those bastards if they're in there. We'll get those crabs. And then we'll toss them back in because what do you do with them? Crabs are so I'm gross. I'm not going to like, they're so, the tiny, pointless. Oh, like, I'm not going to hate crabs. Cook them. They're not going to be like, no, good they're not crabs. eaters. What's they're the not crabbing eaters. utensil we use? A little net. What to pick it up? It's not a stabby one, is it? No, no. Would you, do you stab them? I don't know how crabbing works. Well, you normally put you just put them. Yeah, grab them from with a net. Or you just scoop them. And up. You put them in a little bucket with water, and so they don't. Is that a it? net? Well, yeah, how do you, you use crab lines? Usually. Yeah, you use crab lines, but then there's like you can grab them with a net and then pop them in a. Bucket. Yeah, you just put them in a bucket for a bit. You gather up some of the water from the. It's not a complicated endeavor, but you just need a crab. But you're line. not stabbing them. You're not is killing them. Is it crab? They're actually very easy. You no. Know, are there crab? Would it be are there crab or crabs? Because are there crab is implying there's there's more than <laughs> that's a good question. I don't so know. like it's, oh I, I love know, crab meat. I don't, I, love crab. My, I don't know if it's off my head. I think it'll be are there crab. So we're gonna go around. Oh this is gonna be thing now. <laughs> are there crab? We're gonna go around. Are there crab is the name of the video series. Are there we'll crab? make five videos before we realize this is a really bad Absurd. idea. Absurd. There five are videos no would crab. Be impressive. <laughs> I think if we managed to do five videos, maybe they're short. Super artsy crab. Those would be shorts. The yeah. One, the, a TikTok. Not here. No. Nope. No. No crab. <laughs> <laughs> Location, coordinates, no crab. You can get little fishing rods that are crab lines as well, which makes it funnier, I think. You know, they're like little plastic ones little and they're popping. like, and then yeah. you bring it up. Because oh, normally yes, I've seen you, those little ones, yeah, yeah. little rods, yeah, yeah. Rather than like the H bracket, which is just, yeah, which have is the line on. manual. Like, oh, but the tug, you, when you feel that tug, it's something, it's there's a, crab. a, a genuine exciting. satisfaction. Yeah, on yeah. You. So it feels quicker than fishing. Is this crab? It does. It's only crab? if you go to a place where you know there are crabs. Yeah. Like, normally like, Pantato's great for it, Paul Moore. Yeah. Love Weymouth's good pretty good for it. Sure. But we, we need to, we need to go places where Bristol. it's not likely. Guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> not like likely. closed off harbours. <laughs> like Bristol. Like, <laughs> but the... which part of it? That's the thing. There's a big area. There is. Urban crabbing. Just Hashtag. imagine people looking at the one guy <laughs> crabbing. What the fuck are you guys doing? Uh, we're crabbing. Nobody else is crabbing here. This is stagnant water. Good luck finding <laughs> crabs. This isn't the right type of water. This is not this the right is type of This is an oil spill. <laughs> Anyway, well, you're, I'll be laughing when I've got crab, a bucket bucket filled with crabs. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> it's been Thank a, you. it's been a hot episode one thirty, mm. and uh, again, huge thanks to our patrons and other supporters out there, like memberships on YouTube and yeah. Twitch subs. Big up to you. Uh, big up to all of you. Thanks for voting on the hypotheticals. You can do the same. Uh, also, you get the ad free version on Patreon. You do. Uh, and if you have musical knowledge and want to send us a little fingle like Rel X did, send it to our email, hatchat at hat-films.com. I will also accept good hypothetical questions. Nice. That would be actually very That would good. be quite that. useful. Please if you've got any that. cool ones you can think of, yeah, that would be nice. send it there. We'd like that. Uh, and until then, have a great week, and we'll be back next week to uh, talk your ears off with episode 131. Indeed. Have a good time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Stay out of prison. Stay out of prison.